Jesus Christ, man. Jerry Mochi. Mebius. Hello, everyone. It is I. It is I. Hey, welcome back to Tokyo Dark. Remember, it's last time we left off. Um, I think her name is Ito. 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 If I remember, she was in the hospital because she had a mental breakdown after killing Rena. Let's see what happens next. Yeah, hopefully, uh, we try to... I forgot to mention that, um, she has to take her medication now. Take pills. Pills, duck. The duck, the pills the doctor gave me are right on top, on the table where Kazuki left them. Count on him to pester me about my health even when he's gone. I hate these pills. But I'll, I hate these pills, but I'll keep taking them for your sake. Wait. So in order to keep our... So how many... Oh shit. The other said if I keep taking my medication, things will get better. Don't overdose. So... what happened to me. The article barely mentions the girl, the bloody back, the other brain. How can they write stuff like this? How can they write this stuff like it's true? The press will simplify any story to sell people just like Cosmic and all these things. Other things about that night don't add up either. After Becca finally did arrive, they couldn't find it any physically with the girl. Fingerprints on the red paint were inconclusive. And the knife at the scene was clean too. That's what they told me, but there's no way that can be true. What really happened now? I guess we'll never know. So can I play with a cat? Hey, little one. Look at you sleeping there. Not in the, not a care of the world. At least you are all right. At least you're all right. I don't know what I do. I don't know what to, I don't know what I do if both you and Kazuki. No, I can't think like that. There's more to all this and too many answered questions. I'll get to the bottom of it. Managed to salvage your normal life out of this somehow. Don't worry, little one. So, what happens if you keep taking these pills? I kind of want to see what would happen. Does she overdose? I kind of want to see. Nah, I, I really don't want to see. Go to the bedroom. What's in the bedroom? I've been avoiding spending. I've been avoiding spending. I've been avoiding spending too much time in this room lately. Memories of that night always come flooding back whenever I do. Sometimes I think I can hear this voice just beyond the door, and that when I open it, I'll see him there and find these few last. Find these last few weeks just to be a bad dream. But it's not a dream. But it's no dream. He's gone. I don't, I don't know what hurts more. The fact that he's gone or the way it happened. 
taken by a girl who shouldn't exist. Rena, that was her name. I remember a few days ago after the suit, but I kept it to myself. After the debriefing they had, they talked to a station psychiatrist, and one look at her was enough to figure out what everyone else was thinking. The police reports, the press, no one mentioned it. No, no one's mentioned it. I saw what I saw. If she came back, then maybe. If I could get, if I could get some time to collect my thoughts and investigate to see myself, I'm sure I, I could find something to do. She proved she was there. I doubt they'll let me anywhere near it though, at least for now. One way or another, I'll find the truth. So, uh, I'm pretty sure. I don't think she... I'm pretty sure she's a ghost. I don't know. Hey, I brought you some dinner. Konnichiwa. Thanks, Yumi. You didn't have to do that. You need to eat something, neighbor. You can't just sit around all day, right? I know that. It's just... It's alright. You don't have to thank me. I just... I... I'm no good with this stuff. But I am a... I am a... I'm, I'm really sorry about Kazuki, I mean, I know he meant a lot to you, and I didn't know him very well, but... No, oh, no, stop, just stop, you know, I'm, I'm sorry, Yumi, I didn't mean it, forget it, forget I said anything, I'm sorry I snapped at you, I guess it's been a bit much... <laughs> What the hell? That... That was a big one, huh? I, uh... I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. I know we're not best friends or anything. I'm just worried. I'm just worried. So. Sorry, Yumi. That's my phone. Bitch! Oh my god. That damn... Work again? <laughs> just like they know when we're talking. Yeah. Maybe. I have to take this. And you mean. Thanks for the food. That ring is about to drive me fucking crazy. Anytime. Hey. Aito here. Aito, I'm sorry. I didn't call. I'm sorry I didn't call sooner. I, um, need you to come to the station as soon as you can. What's this about? It'd be easier if we talked in person. See you soon. Oh, shit. Don't tell me she's about to get fired. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if she did, but still. Oh. Hey, it's Aito. Didn't think we'd see you back so soon. Konnichiwa. Well, ready or not, I'm here. I, um, about what happened. It's all right, Saki. You don't need to say anything. It's just so awful, and I know you two were close. I mean, I heard. Yeah, we were. But seriously, you can leave it alone. I'm fine. Um... Are you sure about that? If you say so. But I'm glad you're being so positive. No matter what people say, I know you cared about him and did everything you could to save him. Yeah, well, we did a shitty... <laughs> Yeah, well, we did a shitty job doing that. <laughs> I mean, but seriously, though, um, I don't know, man. What if Rena wasn't there to begin with? What if she was a ghost? If that's what I'm saying. Thanks, Saki. Wait, what exactly are people saying? Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. I think, oh, no. They're going to be rumors. They're going to be rumors. I'm just saying. Hmm, I guess it's only fair to give you a heads up since we're friends. There have uh, been some rumors about what happened to Tanaka. I knew it. Rumors. Of course, rumors. Rumors? What kind of rumors? Well, that's... Oh, maybe I shouldn't. I don't want to upset you. Out with it, Saki. We both know you can't keep something like this to yourself for long. You might... You might as well tell me now. 
fine, but you didn't hear it from me, okay? On account of all the bad press surrounding Tanaka, the higher-ups are looking for someone to pin this all on. Someone close to the case, if you know what I mean. Oh, shit. Yeah, I think yeah, I, Yeah, I ended up... Fuck, I can't speak. Yeah, I think I understand it just fine. Officer Bando told me earlier that Tyra, Tia, Tara, Tara, Tyra was boasting about some promotion. But then I saw some movers going on, going into your office on the CT, CCTV earlier. I just, it doesn't look good is all. Tyra. That guy needs a swift punch to the back of the head sooner than he needs a promotion. And movers in my office? This is too much. See? I told you you'd be upset. It's not all definite, though. All I know for sure is what I've been seeing on the monitors and what Bondo's told me. Hold on a sec. Who's Officer Bondo? That's not some alias you come up with, is it? I only tried that with you one time, and you figured it out right away. Bando transferred in from Osaka, Osaka a few weeks ago, and he's a total sweetheart. Sometimes he comes and talks to me at the front desk when he's free. Okay. Huh. He didn't say anything about Tyra's mysterious promotion. Huh. Did he say anything else about Tyra's mysterious promotion? Hmm, not that I remember. All I know is he's been on the fourth floor doing some log leg work for the detectives lately and overheard. If I run in my if I run by my office, maybe I'll see this officer Bando and ask him myself. Hey, that reminds me. If you see him, could you give him this? I mean, what's in it? Oh, is that it's an envelope. It's like I've died and gone back to high school. It's like I've died and gone back to high school. Yeah, sure. I'll give it to him. But you owe me. Thanks, Ayame. You're the best. Guess you better head up. Guess you better head up to Yukimura's office soon, huh? <laughs> so you knew about that too, huh? Thanks for keeping me up to date, Saki. So... No, oh, we're not going to ask her that. So far, I'm actually liking this. Investigate unit's office. Kazuki and I have offices on this one. Uh, press button. Yukimura's office is right at the top. Okay. It's not good. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Sorry to have the call. Sorry to have to come. Fuck. Sorry to have to call you in the, like this, Ita Ito. I know we promised you some time off after this whole rotten situation. I meant to talk to you earlier, but everything, with, but with everything going on, well, you know how it is. It's been a media circus for the last two weeks. Damn reporters were waiting for an excuse they could go for our throats and they found it. Then the deputy chef starts calling me. Then the chef, hell, I've got, hell, got a call from the mayor last night. All of them want this case solved and out of mind. Huh. If he was here to see it, Tanaka would be furious about uh, the bureaucracy. Be Fuck. Well, how? Bureaucracy. Bureaucracy. 
Can't even count on, can't even count the number of times he yelled at me after similar speeches I had made to him. He was a good man. Yes, sir, he was. Let's cut to the chase. With every paper and news station covering your case, the mayor's demanding a formal inquiry into your conduct. Now, before you say anything, I'm not saying I would have done better in your shoes. The whole thing was rotten, if you ask me. Unfortunately, there are no do-overs in police work, and even choices that seem right at the time can turn around and bite us later on. It's not only you. I made a mistake that night by sending you in alone. I'll pay for that too. Keep an eye on your keep your eye on your professionalism by using the spin system from time to time. Don't give those vultures anything to pick at. It's not just about the inquiry, though. I'm concerned about you. The choices you make, professional. The choices you the choices you make, professionalism or otherwise, have reach have far-reaching effects in the future. Oh shit. The people who will work with you and trust you and the options you have, you'll have available to you all hinge on your ability to keep a professional face. One more thing. Given the circumstances, we think it's best we think it best to transfer you out of the violent crime department for the time being transfer but sir I don't understand I've already been I've already done twice the amount of work as some of the veterans and I've been only in the unit for a few years surely my record could speak for itself I mean let's at least talk about it first I mean I could kind of understand why he's doing this because considering uh, the choices we've made um, it's safe to say that she, if she would be a lot, considering what the, cho the considering the choices we've made, I think it's best that Ito would stay away from uh, the violent crimes. Oh man, because her sanity, her professionalism, this that's just in are going down the roof. This isn't a negotiation, detective. Think of it as a chance to get a fresh start. For the next month, you'll continue to be on leave, fully paid, of course. I'll need to take your badge until you return. The gun you can turn in downstairs. When you come back, you'll be helping out with some, some of the vice and insurance fraud cases. Since another detective will be moving into your place, we'll need to clear your office. We need, we'll need to clear out your office. Oh, that, I've asked the movers to come in today and give you a hand. Do I make myself clear, Ito? <sighs> Crystal, you old hat. <laughs> but there's more to this. You know what? Let's let's keep it professional. Let's keep it for professional because we've already fucked up at least twice. So I don't think it's. I don't think it's a good idea to snap on him for trying to do his job. Sir, I understand your decision, but this move should be only be... Sir, I understand your decision, but surely this move should only be temporary. That's enough, Detective. Until the internal hearing about your case is complete, there'll be no further discussion to, of this. Now please, Go to your office and pack away any personal items to be shipped home. The rest stays with us and Ito. Take care of yourself. Oh, yeah. I mean, like I said, I mean... I can kind of understand why he did that, because... Like I said, based on the decisions we've made... I think it's safe to... I think it's best that she does that. Uh, let me look at this right quick. Oh, yeah. So, shaken. All 
I wonder what I'm, I'm gonna try to see what will happen if her sanity is uh is all the way down. Hey, Ito, hold up. I heard you were back in the station. Real shame about Tanaka. He was one great detective. You're right. He was the best. Almost hard to believe he'd let himself get caught in the way he did. I mean, it's weird, right? He's gone missing and can't manage to contact anyone even once. I I thought he had I thought he would have tried to get in touch with you at least, since you were his partner and all. Anyway, you shouldn't blame yourself, Ito. It was dumb to send you down there alone with no backup. Let's face it, there's no way you could have handled that on your own. Threatened violence. Let's not do that. Implying something you would have done better. You know what? Let's not let's not do that. Let's not do use these two because that would be a terrible idea. Because like you would have done better. It makes you sound condescending and threaten threaten him with violence. And threaten him with violence. Well, you already know how that's gonna go down. Trying to imply something about me, Ty Tyron? Who, me? Nah. But what do you expect when they send a little detective all by in all by herself? All I'm saying is you could have used the help. I mean he wasn't trying to be a smart ass or anything like that. I once partnered with Detective Nana and not Naita and was surprised how competent he is. If he didn't attach himself at the hip of Tyra, he would have probably been a make it a detective. Um oh. Yeah, um I mean can you really blame what a morning. I'm exhausted. First the bosses dumped me out of the violent First the bosses dumped me out of violent crime and then they sent me and then they send movers ahead of me so everyone in the station knows my demotion before I do. What a mess. As if I wasn't going through enough already. At least I have at least with the pub at least with my public shaming, I doubt I doubt anyone will have the courage to bother me in here. It gives me a chance to regroup and plan my next move. Oh sh fuck, man. That damn mask. Uh, let's look. A new email is in my inbox from Yukimura. It looks like it's gone out of it's, it looks like it's gone out to all the detectives. Let's see, Detective Aito has been under a lot of pressure. The tragic loss of Tanaka has affected us all. I think I see where this is I think I I think I see where this is leading. There is Aito will be temporarily Aito will t be temporarily reassigned. So he did make it public. How humiliating. Real nice of him to wait until I was out of his office before he sent he hit sin. Hmm. After all this time, why does he after all this time, why doesn't he believe me? Oh fuck, man. Kazuki gave me this silver hairpin for my birthday last year. Seems so long ago. What the fuck? Pat boxes. Yukimura doesn't believe me. I'm the laughing stock of the station and now I'm being moved out of the office to the top it off. Doesn't get much worse than this, but it's Yukimura that stings the most. I thought I could trust him. But instead, he tells me to turn in my gun like I'm some sort of criminal. Well, you did kill someone, but... Well, you did kill someone, so yeah. Not saying you're not a criminal. Not saying you're a criminal, but hey. Yeah, we all make decisions that could have been avoided, but hey. Sitting around here isn't going to change anything. They won't investigate, I will. First things first, I need to get my hands on that mask. Renna mentioned it over and over. And it's the only clue and it's the only clue I have to go I have to go on. Oh shit. 
Yeah, you really don't want to touch that mask after what happened. Oh, what the fuck, man? This damn mask is about to drive me fucking insane. This damn mask, bro. Forensics gave me the mask a once over and stuffed it down in the basement. I should go down and scope it out. Why, though? Hi, you must be the new transfer from Osaka. I'm Detective Ito. That's right, transfer me in last week. How you doing, Detective? Please call me Bando. Yo. Yo, I, I, y'all have a big city, y'all have a big station here. Embarrassed to say it, but never could find my way around the Tokyo branch, all that well. I get my, I get myself lapped, fuck. I get myself lost half the time, to tell you the truth. So you must be the one that's all over the news. Don't worry. Never trust, never could trust the press. None of them knew, none of them know a damn thing about the police work, if, you, if you're asking me. It sounded like you caught a rough one. Sorry about your partner. Thanks, rough is an understatement. Yeah, well. We all make decisions. We all make pretty bad, reckless decisions. Uh, enter elevator. Yeah, well, let's just say the decisions we made were. Well, okay, so let's just say situations that we made were uh, not great, to say the least. So, why would there be a mask in the... Wait, I just came from here. Enter elevator. Wait, why did the music stop? That's weird. Okay, so the music stopped. And... Honestly... Um... No. The basement. I'm guessing B stands for basement. Oh. Uh. That's the answer. Unlock the door, will you, Mori? I need to have to look through some old evidence. Um, I can't. I got a memo from upstairs that said you can't have access to the locker until you return from leave. If the boss has found out I let you in, my head will roll in a flash and I could kiss my chance to become a detective goodbye. Sorry, Ito. Can't do it. Well, what about the airport? Didn't you think of a, didn't you think to stick around down here after that big earthquake this morning morning? Uh, don't remind me. I'm trying to keep my mind off of it. How are you holding up, detective? Taking it one day at a time, I guess. Honestly, I'm surprised to find you still working evidence. Tanaka put in recommendations for your promotion. Yeah. I think the people down I think the people upstairs will have other things on their minds now from sounds from the sounds of things. Besides, I think they stuck me down here because I was asking too many questions on my last case. May have pissed off a few of the wrong people. Ick. Makes me squirm thinking about what it'd be like being in an earthquake in this basement. Wish you hadn't I wish you hadn't remind me. Oh and I'm sorry about Oh and I'm really sorry about Tanaka, Detective Ito. I respected him a lot. He will truly be missed. Thanks. I missed him too. So, uh... The gate to the evidence rooms is... The gate to the evidence room is locked. Mori has the key, but in desperate times, I've seen Kazuki pick a lot to get in. Yeah. 
so uh a security camera watches the entrance door this a security camera watches the door to the locker twenty seven five second so I can't of course so I can't So I can't leave. So I'm I'm guessing that I can. Ito, there's nothing more to talk about on the matter. Please return to your office, then go home and rest. But sir, hear me out. When the chief gives me an order, I'll do it, no matter how much I dislike it. But because he's my superior office, you should be doing the same. This conversation is over. Oh fuck. So we have no choice but to leave and go home. Bro. Fuck it. We might as well just leave and we might as well just go home. Because I don't want to risk, uh... So what have we packed? So the boxes are... Do we really, should we really go down? Do we really have to go home? Activate alarm. After this morning's quake, I bet everyone would clear out in the, out here in the hurry if the alarm went off. I don't know, man. What happened? I kind of want to see what happens. Evacuation of the building will start almost immediately after I pull the lever. Unfortunately, it'll be a short window. Unfortunately, it'll be a short window before they realize what's happening, so I need to get to the evidence room quickly. Right, there, here goes nothing. Oh, shit. God damn, that shit is loud. Can I turn off the camera? As I held the mask in my hands again, I immediately questioned why I'd gone through such things to get it back. A small piece of evidence wasn't worth the risk. It wasn't the answer to my problems. As strange as it sounds, I hoped the mask would react the same way it did when I touched the Kamakura. At least that would have been justified what I'd done and proved the sensation that I'd felt that day, that day wasn't in my head. The last I held in the evidence room wasn't more than rough old wood, no voices or visions, only eerie quiet left in the wake of anticipation. Of course, I held on to it. The case was the case was only started, and Renna's obsession with it couldn't be an accident. It still had a part to play. Oh sh! We're fucked. Mask in my hands. I quickly left the station and jumped on the first tr train back to Shujin. Back to the alley where, I, where the whole mess had started. Something told me there was more to find in the sewer. The mask itself could wait until later. As the train made its way there, images and thoughts from that night engulfed me. I started to feel queasy. When my stop approached, the pit in my gut changed. Fear did something else. I realized I had enough of other people telling me what to feel or how to act. I didn't know what to expect, but I knew that 
the only one who would give me a sense of closure was myself. Ah. Uh, oh. Um. Wait, we're here? We're st Wait, what? Huh? No way. I must say, after that performance, I'm surprised to see you show your face again. Look, you can skip the condescension. Look, you can skip the condescension. I need information back and I had no leads. Anyway, I uh, heard about the news what happened to you and your partner that night. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. Thanks. I didn't figure you'd care much about what happened to a cop, all things considered. Meaning what? My job? It's true, police come in. It's true. <laughs> it's true, police come in here all the time all the time and act like gods. They order drinks, threaten me, and fill, up, fill me up thinking I don't care. My boss tells me to ignore them, ignore it since happy cops are, are good for business. Honestly, they're worse than the customers. They're supposed to protect us from them. So yeah, all things considered, I don't love the police, but that doesn't make me a robot. No one deserves to die alone. If you told your buddies that at the station that something terrible like that happened to me, some some nobody hostess, you think they give a shit? I mean, I could kind of understand where she's coming from. Kinda. I would care. Let's let's not be let's not be a a heartless bit. Let's not be heartless. To her. I wish I could say you're wrong, but years in the force have taught me being a police officer doesn't make you a better person. A lot of people lost a sight of what it is to be human. Just because the government, just because some government get, official gave them a badge. How long, how long have you been doing this job? Not long, only about two years for four different shops. They all promised the same thing, better paying customers that will treat you with respect. I'm still waiting on both the, both of those things. Business has been in the pits lately. I've gotten some officers that might pay better, but 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 they're all but they're but they're at clubs with more an adult vibe. They say I wouldn't I wouldn't have to do with they said I wouldn't have to do anything weird, but I don't know. I heard rumor, I've heard rumors about what happened to some of the girls in those places. But a country girl like me doesn't exactly know a lot of job prospects. And it'd be good money. This one's easy. Don't do it. But ever heard of the phrase those who don't learn from history are doomed to repeat it uh no not really well take it from me no one's going out of the way to help you but that doesn't mean you can't help yourself just think of it before you say yes to that offer okay to think i to think i get it to think to think i'd be getting advice from a cop all right, I'll think about it. You got a name? Yeah, it's my hoe. Don't tell anyone though. The bosses don't like it when a customer knows about. It. The bosses don't like it when customers know our real name. You know, after I saw you on your knees, I didn't think you had any guts. Guess I was wrong. See you around, detective. See, it's it's crazy. Cause like, bro, people are trying to do their, like what people fail to realize is that everyone has stuff going on in their personal lives and they don't want to deal with other people's bullshit. Maybe I should check in with everyone I talked to that night first. I'm not sure if I can bring myself to go in there right away. I don't know, man.
I don't know. I don't think it's a good idea for you to go back to the same place and talk to the same people. <sighs> oh, hello, Detective. I heard uh, right about what happened that night after the other police the other police and reporters showed up. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry to hear that about your partner. I can't imagine what it's like to lose someone like that. Honestly, man, it's best you don't because that shit would eat you up from the inside out. Trust me, it's happened to me. I've lost pretty much anyone. I'll, I've lost pretty, pretty much all of my friends due to senseless violence, bro. It's, uh, it's not, it's not fun. Thanks, Daiso. Thanks. Daiso, right? Yep, that's me. I'm surprised you remember that, Detective. No need for a Detective. I'm not on duty. I'm not on duty. Duty. I am me is fine. How are, thing, how are things? Did that night hurt your business too? In all honesty, business wasn't really better or worse because of it. If anything, I got a little uptick when the reporters were here. But eventually they left too, just like everyone else. It was always my dream to cook and start a restaurant, but it's been a constant uphill struggle. Damn. What's the point? Don't give up. I know it might be, I know it not mean, I know it might not mean much coming from me, but I believe you should stick around to the end no matter what. A lot of, a lot of it comes down to attitude, right? If you stay down in the dumps, people will taste that emotion in the food. That's something no amount of alcohol can't mask. Can mask. Yeah, I guess. I've been beating myself up for weeks now. Maybe that's not helping, huh? I mean, I'm still competing with scumbags around here, but, but I'll try to keep my head above my, the water for now. Thanks, Detective. Er, I mean, stop by any, stop by again anytime. Drinks on the house. Thanks, Daiso. Maybe I'll take you up on that one day. Damn. So everybody here's heard about what happened that day or that night. That night, to be exact. Oh, hey, it's that detective from the other night. I wonder if she remembers me. That detective is right here and I can hear you. That detective is right here and can hear you since she's standing right next to you, Kobayashi. What? How do you know my name? It's on your name tag. Don't think about it. Don't think too hard about it, kid. You might hurt yourself. Anyway. I'm just like surprised you need to talk to me again. I don't. I'm just passing through. Oh. Oh, right. That's good. I think I I think I already said everything I could to be at that other guy. Would have would have to wreck my brain pretty hard to come up with a new material, you know. What other guy? Tido Tido? Titus, Typhoon, Tyra. Detective Tyra was here? What did you tell him? All right, Tyra, yeah. I told him you were here and that you were pretty hardcore. You told him I was hardcore? What does that mean exactly? You know, I told him you were a cop that like didn't play by the rules, who had a drink if they wanted to, you know, take the edge off and stuff. You told him I shit. What else did you say? Uh, not much else. I told him I heard a, a firecracker outside before you came in and heard about a broken lock and how you said you saw, you seen a strange girl. I mean, nothing bad. Whoa, your eyes have got all intense for a second. Whoa, your eyes got all intense for there for a second. That's nothing. 
Just dust in my eyes. Pitiful, stupid, idiotic dust that causes that has caused me to squint harshly. Oh yeah, detective, you should be careful. It's super dusty in here. Thank you. I'm going to I am going to leave now. Enjoy your day. Shit, man. All of this has happened so fast, bro.